Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I'm doing technical interview questions and I'm solving them from LeetCode to help you and myself for the upcoming technical interview. So I have a lot of uh, problems already solved in my channel, so please check it out and then let me know which one do you want to do next. But today we have 202 happy number. It has a lot of likes, 3000 likes, 500 dislikes, so it's a pretty good problem. So let's write the, read the problem statement first. So write an algorithm to determine if a number is happy. A happy number is a number defined by the following process. Starting from any positive integer, replace the number by the sum of the squares of the digits. Repeat the process until number equals 1, or you hit the in endless loop cycle. Those numbers which ends at 1 are happy, and then return true if it's happy number, false if it's not happy. Let's look at more concrete example to kind of understand it better. So we have 19, for example. Let's square each number. 1 squared plus 9 squared is 1 plus 81 is 82. Then we take 80 and 2 and square them. 8 squared plus 2 squared is 64 plus 4 is 68. And then we go 6 squared, 8 squared is 100, and 1 zero, zero squared is 1. So it's a happy number. 2 is not a happy number because 2 squared is 4, and then we hit the loop. So how can we solve it? So the way we solve it, we're actually going to use a little bit of logic, and then we actually will do exactly what it's asking for. Uh, the only thing we use a set to know when we hit the endless loop cycle. So let's code it out and see if it makes more sense by looking at the code. So first we say let set equal new set. Let scene equal new set. And then we loop while. Create a while loop. And we will loop while what? While n does not equal 1. So until we didn't hit that condition by which the number is a happy number. And then we create the sum variable, which equal to zero. And then we'll create another while loop and we loop over until n is greater than zero. And then what are we gonna say? We're gonna say sum plus equals. So sum will equal to n divided modulo 10 times n modulo 10. And let me explain how it works. So n modulo 10 times and modulo 10. So basically we're saying if we take 19 for example, the modulo of 19 and then we take modulo 10, it's 9. So 9 times 9, that's what we're saying, 9 times 9 equal 81. And then what we need to do when we get 81 to the sum, then we need to get this one uh, to edit. So 81 and then we need to take 19 and then get a 1. How we can get 1 out of 19? We can simply divide it by 10 and floor it. So when we floor it, we will get 1. And once we get 1, here we get 1, we add it to 81 and then we get 82. So let's do exactly that. We say n equals math.floor floor and divided by 10. Okay, so we got the loop and we keep looping, keep looping. But then after we end this loop, we want to add it to a set, the sum variable. Let's sum if not, sum has uh, sum. So if we seen that sum already, so if we add it to the set, but then we loop in over the same amount as exactly the same number, we know we're in the loop. So then we return false. And then if we didn't see it, like in our case, 82, we didn't see it, we'll add to the set, scene.add sum. So we add it to the sum. And then we say that n equals sum. So on the next cycle, when we go to another for loop, we actually replace 19 by 82, right? So in the next iteration, we have 82. And in our scene um, object, in our scene, uh, set in our scene set yeah we have 82 already and then we're going to keep going so when we get 82 is the same thing we say sum is zero take 82 modular 10 and we get 2 times 2 we get 4 and then we divide it by 10 then we 82 will divide by 10 82 divided by 10 and we'll floor it so we got 8, and then we get 8 times, uh, you know, squared 8, it's 64, so we'll get 68. And then we add 68 to our uh, set. And then if any time we'll 
you know hit the same number we know we did it, we in the some type of cycle and then if we go to one so we exit this loop when n equals to one then we return true return true okay so hopefully it makes sense let's submit and see how we've done all right so we solve it with 41 percent speed and 93 percent space so this is how you solve 202 happy number let me know down in the comments below which problem do you want me to do next thank you